Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a vlog that I, I don't think I've ever done, or if I have, it was a long time ago. In this vlog, I wanna take you guys along my next three work days and just kind of give you guys a behind the scenes look at how I manage having three jobs and kind of like explain to you guys uh, how I manage the three jobs, what they are, because lately I've been having so much fun doing a bunch of different things and it's been feeling really fulfilling. It definitely feels overwhelming at times, but overall, I feel like this is the kind of career path that I thrive in. I started my career as a consultant and that's also when I really started making YouTube videos. It was like a nine to five plus job because in consulting, sometimes you have early morning calls or late night calls and sometimes you have to work extra. And I always felt when I was working those jobs that I was absolutely glued to my desk and I didn't have a lot of freedom and it was something that I craved. I had that corporate job. I also had my side hustle uh, with my YouTube channel. And so I've always been someone who likes to be very busy. And like I said, I craved that freedom. Three years ago, I got laid off from my consulting job and it turned out to be the best thing that ever happened to me. I felt like I was thrown into the deep end and just kind of forced to figure things out and forced to make ends meet. My YouTube channel was doing well, but it was not at a place where I could live off of it. And so I started supplementing my income by working as a freelance copywriter. So that is something that I still do now. I, of course, have my YouTube channel, which you guys are watching. And in November of last year, I fulfilled what has always been kind of a dream of mine is to start teaching fitness classes, specifically bar fitness. So that is what I do. Those are my three jobs. And in today's video, I am going to be touching on all of them and showing you guys how I balance the three. Now, like I said, it can definitely be overwhelming. So by no means do I want to glamorize this or make it look you know, easier than it is. Just because you enjoy something and just because something is maybe more right for you doesn't mean that it's always easy and doesn't mean that life is gonna be butterflies. I definitely thought that life would always be butterflies when I achieved my dream of being self-employed. And it just comes with this whole new set of challenges, but it also comes with a lot of really great perks. So today is Wednesday and I actually just finished filming a video. Like I literally closed off that video in my pajamas, got dressed, and now I'm starting this video. It's almost 9.30 a.m. And so I've just been sitting at my desk having a little cup of tea. I kind of got the house in shape because when I work from home, I really like the house to be a little bit more in order. My apartment is very open. And so if there's like a mess in the kitchen or dog hair, there's, there's always dog hair on the floor. I have an Australian Shepherd. There she is. But I always feel like I just have the best kind of shot at my day if I start the day with like a cleaner space. So that's what I did. And then I took a little bit of time to write in my gentle productivity planner. This is like my holy grail. I am such a paper planner girl. And in case anyone is new, this is a planner that I designed in collaboration with a Vancouver stationery company called The Line. So these are available for sale. I think we still have some of this color left and we are working on bringing out a new color and restocking the green. I don't know if that was a secret. I guess I just spilled the secret if it was. Speaking of which, you guys, this is a perfect opportunity to remind you that if you live in Vancouver, I would love to meet you at my upcoming Vancouver meetup on Saturday, September 28th. It's going to be held at the Line HQ, 207 West Hastings. There's going to be pastries, matcha, coffee. We have special drinks and sponsors. It is going to be incredible i can't wait to see you there and give you a big hug and if you're feeling shy to come alone i totally get it but you guys think of this as an amazing opportunity to meet some new friends who live in your city it's going to be so much fun so don't be shy from 12 to 3 i can't wait to see you there so I filled everything out for the day. We do have a busy day, so I better stop talking. By the way, guys, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Zoe, I'm 28. I work three jobs and I live in Montreal, blah, blah, blah. Please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already. And I'll put my Instagram on the screen if you wanna give me a follow there. So I thought I would open up this video by letting you guys know something that is so important which is prioritization. And when you have multiple things going on, whether that's multiple things within one job or multiple jobs, multiple things that you need to get done, prioritization is key. And it is definitely something that I still struggle with. 
I'm also a huge procrastinator, but when you've got a big to-do list in front of you, the only way to get through it with at least some peace of mind is to prioritize and decide what you need to work on first. So that is what I did. I wrote out everything and I just kind of reflected on all of the things that I need to do today. Sometimes the priority will be the thing with the looming deadline. Sometimes it's like, okay, this thing is due today. I've got to get it done. So that's priority number one. Today, I am going to make priority number one, the thing that I have been procrastinating because like I said, it's Wednesday. I have had some copywriting work that was assigned to me last week. It doesn't really have a fixed deadline and I do not do well when there's no fixed deadline. I'm like, I'm like that person that's like due today equals due today. So I have decided that this morning I cannot do anything else until I dedicate three hours or I finish, whichever comes first, this copywriting task because it's the kind of thing that I could just keep pushing and I wanna do a good job. I want to give my clients the work that they asked for in a timely manner. So that is what I'm going to work on first. After that, the to-do list continues, but we can talk about that later. I think I better stop procrastinating and get to work. I need to just get my desk all set up and then we're gonna dive right in. Okay, the thing that's tricky is the stuff I'm about to work on is confidential, so you guys need to close your eyes. taking a little break. I actually finished like the writing project that I had to do. Sometimes I just get like in the flow and I'm like bang and I just bang it out. Um, but I like to step away from my work when I'm writing, step away for a little bit and then go back and review because this way I'm able to catch any mistakes and I'm able to just look at it with like a sharper and fresher eye to change any wording and just make sure like it's the best that I can deliver. And then I'll send it to my boss. He will review it. And he always, 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 like I've never sent him something and not gotten feedback. So he'll always just like send me his feedback. But um, as he should be, he's like a real stickler for grammar. So I do use Grammarly to help me out, like the plugin of Grammarly. But I also like to review things myself and just make sure it's all good because sometimes technology doesn't catch everything. So this is my nice big breakfast, two eggs, and then a little toast, the dessert toast. And these, if you guys live in like Ontario, Quebec, I guess maybe Canada wide, I don't know how far these grapes go, but these are the Ontario grapes from Niagara. They're so good. They're like the best grapes. They're like, they have like a hard skin and then they're really like sour on the inside. They're so good if you see them. Oh my God. I don't know if this is like a strain of grapes that they use to make wine with because they make a lot of wine in the Niagara region, but my gosh, that region just gives the best fruit. So if you have these little Niagara grapes at your grocery store, check them out. They're so good. desk I've got my gorgeous blue tea it finally just cooled down to like drinking temperature and it's so good with the little like crunchies of the sugar on the rim I feel so fancy it's been about an hour since I've eaten so I want to show you guys this new device that I am using to help me figure out my digestion this is something that I've been struggling with for years and would honestly require <laughs> so much talking and explanation but I have had my eye on this device called Food Marble for a little while. It's actually an Irish company. And this little thing, you blow into it 
and it basically analyzes the gases that come out on your breath and that will help analyze whether or not your food is properly digested and it has this cool app very scientific looking you input things like your stress your sleep as well most importantly as the foods that you eat and then you take a breath test and you blow into it so i've been trying really hard to be consistent consistency is something i struggle with in general but this is so important to me and i'm so glad to finally have this device that i'm working really hard on being consistent so i'm going to log that breakfast that i ate of eggs and toast and i log everything like the peanut butter the jam so far everything is green meaning that it's not it's not like a highly potentially triggering food and that's just like in general not for me i haven't been using it enough yet for it to like know my trigger foods and then i'll even put in coconut oil because i cooked my eggs in coconut oil and that's a green food as well so right now i'm feeling good i don't feel bloated or anything i can also log my symptoms the focus on my camera is like being funny but you can log bloating, abdominal pain, flatulence, fatigue. So I'm having none of those right now. And now I'm gonna take a breath. So it kind of just guides you through what to do. You press and hold. And you hold your breath for a few seconds then you release into the device and it says medium. So. There's something that I'm not digesting super well, but I honestly feel fine. Medium is like, okay. Oh, I forgot to input the grapes. Let's see if I put in the grapes. It says it should be fine too. So I'm not sure what's causing me to have that spike. I always do a baseline in the morning and I was like totally fine this morning. Anyways, it's not something to like super overthink, but it is really cool. They also have a program where you can take like a test to really figure out which ingredients are causing you discomfort and it's based on the like FODMAP, um, not scale, but like FODMAP system. I will link this down below if you guys are interested. It's something that I've had my eye on for a really long time. I ended up reaching out to them and they put me into their affiliate program, which is really cool. So that means I have a discount code for you guys, but I'm still in the midst of trying it out. So far, I really like it. I just need to learn better how to unlock the findings. So like, what does it mean? And how can I prevent myself from being so bloated that like I wanna cry and it hurts so bad because that happens to me more often than I would like. Anyways, we're back at my desk. I finished my writing stuff, which is great. That was one of my priorities for the day. The next thing I need to do is another thing that I procrastinate a lot is my emails. So I need to go through my email inbox and start answering people. And I'm not gonna say more than that because I'll just keep procrastinating. So I'll see you guys later. I like to set a timer to let me know that it's not a never ending exercise. And I also like to play music while I do stuff like this. I'm getting ready to go for a nice long lunch break. This is so ugly. <laughs> lunch break walk with Maggie on these work from home days. I find that if I don't get outside for a little bit, like go do something, leave the house, I start to feel really, really antsy around three o'clock. So it's currently 1.20. I just finished my first call of the day and I have another one at 3.30. So this is the perfect chance to take a break, come back refreshed for my last call of the day and then just like move on with work stuff. So I'm actually about to go to the bank. It is such a nice day outside, like that perfect late summer, starts to feel like fall day where it's kind of cool shorts and a sweater weather vibe and then i'm wearing my arcteryx hat because it looks really sunny out there i don't want the i don't want my like part to burn and i kind of forgot that i have this hat but it's really cute so i'm gonna wear it i'm going to the bank to pick up some new credit cards because i opened a business account and my business credit cards are in so i need my passport and like my id to go pick them up at the same time i'm going to drop off some cash from my spent on credit i am so overdue 
this purse has like a special cash envelopes. It's it's technically for your phone, but I like to put my cash there. Um, this is my new purse from Songmat. I'm obsessed with it. So I'm just shoving everything in there. I love like listening to a podcast while we walk. And I'm gonna bring Maggie because we're just going to the bank. I'm sure they're gonna let her in. And it's kind of a far walk. I'm actually surprised I'm doing this. Normally I would drive, but I don't know. I just, I haven't done anything today. I don't know if I'm gonna go do any exercise or anything today. So I'm like, let's just get a nice long walk in. And plus like, it's so good for her. We already played ball this morning, but as you can probably guess with an Australian Shepherd, like there's no such thing as too much exercise for her. So let's go. We're gonna do that. Business girl, business credit card. <laughs> and this outfit is just too cute. Watch out, bus. You wanna put your harness on? Let's go get ready to go. Let's go. Do you guys see this insane sun? Such a beautiful afternoon. I am drained. My walk was so intense. I ended up having to like go in at the bank listen to this actually listen to this first up was the bank that i do my personal banking with i went to the atm you know insert my debit card insert the cash that i need to deposit and it doesn't accept my cash it's like all oh, your bills are crinkled they weren't they were pristine so i get annoyed and grab my cash and i forget to grab my debit card so i go into the actual branch i'm waiting in line it's taking forever like obviously there's only two tellers and like everyone at the teller has some problem then it gets to be my turn like it's about to be my turn and i realize oh my gosh i never grabbed my debit card out of the atm and i believe the atm will suck back your debit card if you wait too long so that no one can steal it so lost my debit card like so silly anyway do my deposit then i go to the different bank because i do my business and personal banking with different banks i don't know why i did it that way and i regret it um, and anyway, everything just took forever. The small business banking advisor wanted to see me and it made me like start running late for my call. So I had to like power walk home. I'm so hungry. I'm so drained. I just got off the phone from my call. And I'm going to tell you guys, one of the best things about being self-employed is getting to call it a day when you are fed up. Like you get to call it a day when you want to call it a day. And for that, I am very grateful because it is a little bit after four and I'm fed up and I need to go make a yogurt bowl and have a snack and just kind of chill and enjoy the sunshine for a little bit. I do have a pretty big to-do list, so I may kind of compensate by getting some work done tonight. Sometimes I try and like no working at night and sometimes I don't mind if it allows me to enjoy the daylight and rest when I feel like I need to rest and then be productive when I want to. I'm fine with working at night from time to time. There was a time where I was working like every single night, like forcing myself to work and it was impacting my sleep and like that's not good. But here and there, I think it's completely fine. So I may do that tonight, we shall see, but I'm going to start selling Sunset. I said at the beginning of September, I was like, I wanna do a no TV challenge. I didn't know that the new Selling Sunset season was coming out and Selling Sunset is my addiction. It's so bad and every season gets worse than the next, but I saw the trailer and there's like some drama with Chelsea's husband, I'm there. So that is where I will be for about the next hour or so. I may do my nails because they're like really, really chipped. And yeah, then JS is gonna come home. We might try and play a little pickleball together, uh, make dinner and that's it. So that's the rest of my day. I need to turn the camera off because I need to save some vlogging time for tomorrow and for Friday. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. I'm just making breakfast. I just got back, well, I got back like 20 minutes ago from yoga and things are cooking. I always get so hungry after a morning workout, so I like to do a big breakfast. We're kind of running low on like food and supplies in the fridge, so I'm just kind of working with what we got. Two eggs frying up nice and crispy the way I like it. And then I'm doing some like slow cook oats. I'm gonna do like straw, like berries and cream. <laughs> berries and cream oatmeal. 
yeah, I just have this cooking cream that I want to use up. So I'm going to put like a touch of it in here. So I'm going to mix that in. And then in here, this is like a device that I got from Winners. It allows you to like pre-wash your fruits or your veggies and it keeps them really fresh. And I find it's so nice because one, everything is pre-washed. So I just grab what I want when I want it. And two, it really helps keep my fruits fresher longer. So it has two kind of layers. It's not the most convenient when you set it up with the two layers like this, but I just separated the grapes. You like take off the thing. And then down here I have my strawberries and blueberries, both from Quebec. So all my fruit is like local right now, <laughs> which is nice. So that's the breakfast and I'm just gonna read while I eat. I'm on to book four of a series of unfortunate events. I'm having so much fun reading it. <laughs> I forget if I said it already in this video, but we are gonna be doing book club for like a virtual book club for the first six books. I will put the link in the description if you guys wanna join. Um, I'm gonna be selling tickets and donating the profits from the tickets to the war amps. And I'm just heating up my food marble. I wanna do like a baseline test before I start eating. Okay, if you're an oatmeal fan, you need to try this combo. Oatmeal, strawberries, blueberries, some cream, and then a little bit of cinnamon on top. It is so good. Oh my gosh, it feels like a warm hug. I love oatmeal. <laughs> I just took a shower. We're gonna do some quick skincare before we start the day. I already did my toner. I've been loving this toner from Karin. I don't know why my camera just never. Been loving this toner from Karin Joncas. It, my camera won't focus, but it's very good. Working through it, but not too quickly because I hate it when you get a skincare product and then like it only lasts you like a month, you know? I've been using this serum from SkinCeuticals. It's called Serum 10. It's with it's with a bunch of scientific -y stuff. It's basically like a vitamin C, but I feel like when I combine it with this new thing that I've been using, it's not the best. So I'm gonna try and alternate. Like one day I'm gonna use this, one day I'm gonna use this. And this, <laughs> this is new. I got this in like a random gift bag because it's a long story. I wish I could say it was like influencer stuff related. I'm like, okay. This is called <laughs> Youth Watery Oil from Guerlain. I've never had anything from this brand before, this skincare brand, but when I put this on for the first time, I was just like, oh my gosh, it smells so good. It made my skin feel so amazing. I feel like that yoga class is kind of setting in. I'm starting to feel really tired, so we're gonna go make a tea before we start work. I love doing a morning workout, but I do find it can make me kind of go into my day feeling tired. Oil-free lotion from Tival. My favorite lotion for the face is the Light and Airy from Tival, but the last time I placed an order, they were sold out. So I need to check if they have more. Anyway, this is turning my face white. So this, this skincare segment is not going very well. Oh my God. Like actually, what is happening to my face? It never does this. <gasps> I don't want to jinx it, but I just feel like today is not going to be my day. I think I woke up on the wrong side of the bed and I didn't want to talk about it in the video because I just wanted to like be positive, but I didn't sleep very well. I woke up and I was like going to skip yoga and then JS was like, I'll drive you, I'll drive you, let's go. So I'm really glad I went, but now I just feel exhausted. Okay, we're starting to blend, so things are turning around. And I should probably fix my hair. If you are a pumpkin lover, you need to try this tea from David's Tea, pumpkin chai. I've been drinking this, you guys, I calculated, not, it's not a hard calculation, but I, the other day I realized I've been drinking this tea for 13 years because I discovered it when I was 15 at, 15 or 16 at my first job. I might have been 16 because it would have been in the fall. When I was 15, I got a job in an ice cream store in like downtown Ottawa in the Glebe. And that store was across the street from, it was across the street from a David's Tea. And so my 
coworker was like, oh my gosh, you need to go try this tea, blah, blah, blah. So I went with my little paycheck and I went across the street and I bought some David's tea, pumpkin chai. I remember the coworker being like, there's little pumpkin candies in it. And like, it's so good. And I've been addicted ever since. So 12, 13 years later, here we are. You need to try this tea if you're like a fall lover, pumpkin lover. It's not very chai-y, honestly. It really just tastes like a pumpkin delight. It, and it's not too pumpkin-y either. Anyway, you just have to try it. Like, trust me, it's so freaking good. So I've been having this like pretty much every day since I got it over the weekend. We're gonna do a big cup today and my favorite mug. And I like to drink it with milk. Welcome to my desk. It is time to get to work today. Um, originally when I was like planning my week, so like when I was thinking about my week on Monday, I was planning on filming a video today. And up until yesterday, I thought I was gonna do that. So I was like, oh, it's perfect for this vlog about like balancing different things. I'll show you guys like my filming setup and getting ready to film. I was gonna film a personal finance video. So those are more like sit down, kind of structured. I'll sometimes bring out my lighting as opposed to vlogging and taking you guys through my day, which is like a little bit more casual. I've decided not to. I'm really not in the mood to film a sit down video today for one. And the other thing is last night I was just kind of reflecting on what is in front of me and just kind of taking inventory of the things I need to do and like how I'm feeling about work and essentially like what needs to get done when. I realized that I have this tendency to always want to be moving forward, but I will leave little like a little trail behind me of incomplete work and i'm someone personally admin work like emails uh bookkeeping like that kind of stuff is really not my favorite and so that is the stuff that i will let fall to the wayside until there comes a day where i panic and i need to dedicate like two full days and bribe myself with like uber eats to finish these tasks I think I've always felt that productivity means moving forward. And I kind of had this really insightful thought last night, which is that productivity can sometimes mean looking behind you and cleaning up whatever isn't left undone. Because I feel like that is the best feeling when you don't have things weighing on your shoulder, when there's not that little nagging thing in the back of your head of like, come on, you need to do your bookkeeping. Come on, you need to do your timesheet. Come on, you need to clean out your email inbox. Like we all have those tasks at whatever job we work at, I'm sure we all have those tasks that we like to put off, we don't like to do, expense reports, timesheets, you know, inventory logs, whatever it may be. And it can be more fun and more fulfilling to just focus on those things that move us forward, like in my case, filming a new video. But the reality is that I have, I think three videos like in line to be edited right now. So I don't really need to add a fourth. I have this box, let me show you guys. This box is full of receipts that need to be input and I need to deal with some bookkeeping stuff. My sit down at my desk to-do list is actually very long and there's no way I finish it all today, I know that, but in between doing it and like making a good stride today and filming another video, I think my time is best spent here. But I do, I do still really wanna film that video and you guys will probably actually end up seeing it before you see this vlog. It's gonna be a check in on my net worth. So I think I'll do that maybe over the weekend or on Monday if not, but I really wanna get some of this stuff off my chest because I don't know, I feel like fall is productivity season, but I don't wanna have stuff hanging over my head. I just like want to feel good and like keep moving forward because it's really, really easy to get overwhelmed. Like I find the difference between feeling like you're in a good flow and feeling overwhelmed is just like one day of letting too many things pile up. And suddenly like for me, I'm feeling anxious and I don't want to get out of bed. So this tea is really helping me. I was feeling so tired after my yoga class and I still don't feel like super high energy, but the tea definitely helps. So what I'm going to do next is actually put my phone onto airplane mode. I'm going to get started with editing because I think that's just like a great way to jump in. I love putting my phone on airplane mode when I really need to focus. It can be hard sometimes, especially if I'm doing like banking stuff because everything sends a code to my phone. Like I swear the world just wants you to be glued to your phone 24 seven. But when it comes to editing, it's the type of task that you need to be really focused, like no distractions. I've, I see thing, 
I've seen people like listen to music in the background whether they edit or like even watch vlogs and I'm like how do you do that like I need to be so focused I literally can't have any distractions while I'm editing but I love editing and it's something that I thought about in the past of like should I ever hire an editor because technically if I were one of those people who wanted to like hack my income and like hack my productivity you know like four hour work week vibes I would actually be better off hiring someone to edit my videos paying them less than my av what than my hourly copywriting rate and like just filming sending it to them to edit the time that I spend editing doing copywriting and then I probably end up like making more money but I don't really care about that because I just love editing and it's also like a sense of control that I'm not ready to give up like I don't trust anyone to edit my videos I'm sure there's people out there who could do a great job but um I just like doing it I like it's part of the creative process like I feel like it would feel really weird for me to film a video not be the person to edit it and then just like upload it like it would feel so bizarre so I'm gonna start editing I'm gonna open up iMovie and I'm basically just gonna be here until noon when it's time to take Maggie to the groomer and she's gonna be so cute after so I'll show you guys all that later Are you ready to go to the groomer? <gasps> the groomer. Okay. <laughs> it's just about time to take Maggie to the groomer. Hi, my angel. She's been a sleeping angel all morning. We're gonna walk over there because if I take my car, I know that I will accidentally drive over to Subway and <laughs> I'm really craving Subway, but I need to just like scrounge around in my fridge because I'll probably go get Subway tomorrow. <laughs> I'm obsessed with my outfit today along my quest of trying to like look and feel more put together when I work from home. This is a great in between. Baggy jeans, so comfortable. They may as well be sweatpants, but I do like I'm wearing jeans. I'm put together. This cute one shoulder top from Dynamite. It was kind of like warm, I guess, after my after hot yoga, I was hot and then I started feeling a bit chillier. So yeah, cute one shoulder top. And then I just threw on this cardigan from Garage. It's so cute, like slightly cropped, boxy, and like this nice, warm, cozy knit. I love it. Little update on my plants, you guys. This one is actually, so I learned that they're not supposed to flower all the time. They will stay like a healthy plant indoors throughout the colder months. And then in the summer, you bring it outside and it will flower. So it is sad that it lost all its flowers, but I think as a plant, it's still beautiful. I was watering it like crazy because I thought that was the problem. It turns out I was overwatering it. So I'm letting it chill for a little bit. The Bird of Paradise is actually doing pretty good. That one leaf died. You guys can see it's like bandaged up here I had to cut it off but the other ones are kind of starting to come back to life I heard your cries that this means it's dehydrated so I've been watering it a lot more this leaf is kind of it's still bent but it's doing fine and the great news is we have a new leaf coming in so this weekend actually I want to give it a good bath I it's just a little bit heavy for me so I need JS to lift it out and take it into the bathtub so that I can like soak the bottom of it and we'll just get her rehydrated I didn't end up buying another one because I didn't want to like neglect this one and I'm, I'm glad I didn't we're gonna bring this one back to life and now that it's been a little bit colder I brought in the one that was outside I need to cut this bamboo but I think it's actually already starting to do a lot better now that I've brought it back in I gave this one a bath last weekend so soaked it from the bottom thank you guys so much for the plant tips honestly and it's like so happy so I may have to do like another double plant bath this weekend and just make sure these guys are nice and hydrated so that they can be happy and stay beautiful because we want to take good care of them <laughs> Laundry, as always. All right, before we head out, the last thing I wanna show you guys, you guys have seen my bow and tote bag. I'm still obsessed with it. I'm really having an L.L. Bean moment because I fell in love with this coat. I feel like the kind of barn jacket workwear style is like really having a moment. And so I fell for the trend. I did my research before buying this jacket and 
people were saying that they had theirs for like 25 years so it is kind of one of those investment pieces that I know that I will have for a long time I tried to find a dupe at the thrift store and I just think because like this is trending right now it's like harder to find so I couldn't find anything at the thrift store ordered the LL Bean one I kind of ordered it thinking that I would probably end up returning it but as soon as I put it on it literally fit like a glove and I was like okay I need to keep this it's not the best with these jeans but you guys like look how it's such a beautiful coat I love the different colored collar and then it's lined with like a fleece on the inside. The sleeves are a little bit long, but you can actually cuff them and there's like a corduroy on the inside. So yeah, this was my fall purchase. I'm pretty sure I said I wasn't gonna be buying any jackets. Here we are. Anyways, this is supposed to be about you right now. So are you ready to go? Should we get going? You wanna go for a walk? Wow, nothing. Okay, come on, let's go. Okay, no subway in sight. Tuna wrap, some apple, and then this is a tomato, parsley, and feta salad. Not bad, not bad for an empty fridge. I'm just gonna add a few drops of this lavender water, make like a lavender matcha. And it's time to get back to work. You guys are not ready for what I'm about to show you. And I have to tell you something funny. Whenever I stand next to my fridge, I get comments being like, oh my God, you're so tall. No, my fridge is just short. I'm like an average height, 5'5", five five, but yeah. I see how like if you had a really, if you had like a tall fridge and then you see this, it's like, oh yeah, I look like a Glamazon. Fortunately, I'm not. But speaking of huge, <laughs> I'm gonna show you something. I actually don't know how I got this to, f okay, they're, oh, they're a bit sad. Oh, okay, well, on Sunday, I bought this like, three foot long thing of celery with all the leaves included. Um, I should have made juice with it right away, but I was being a lazy procrastinator and now it's wilting. But I actually know how to get them to crisp back up. All you have to do is put them in water. So I think I'm gonna rehydrate these. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean them, chop them up, rehydrate them, and then I guess I'll make juice tomorrow because I don't wanna make sad celery juice. Well, yeah, okay, so much for that. I was like, yay, let's, I was about to make juice with you guys, healthy and wealthy style, but we're just gonna clean up the celery instead. But yeah, mostly I just wanted to show you guys this giant celery. It's 2.30, I just finished editing my video. It takes a really long time. Uh, so now I'm just watching it back before I go through all of the exporting, uploading, thumbnail making, uh, the whole like back end part we could call it, which also takes a long time. It's really like a full day if not like multiple days if I'm like taking breaks and stuff or like if I'm doing other things. Uh, project editing a video. I should be able to get this done today so that it can go up either tonight or tomorrow. I like to have like a day in between finishing editing and then going and uploading it because then I can make sure that I like the thumbnail that I made and it's like less rushed. My internet isn't the best and it does take like an hour for the video to upload and then it has to go all the way to HD. Like there's a lot of like backend stuff that goes on so i have a feeling this video will just go up tomorrow and i love it when i can just dedicate a full day to editing instead of like editing a little bit and then switching to copywriting like for me it's best when i can have you know a dedicated day okay this is my copywriting day this is my youtube day that's how i feel the best and feel the least overwhelmed i think when you have a lot going on avoiding getting overwhelmed comes down to prioritizing like we talked about yesterday but also comes down to dedication and focus like now I'm working on this, not trying to multitask. 
and avoiding working on like different things. Because if you think about it, like each of your jobs, if you have multiple jobs or different projects, it kind of takes like a different mind space. So constantly flipping your brain from one to the other can be really exhausting. And I feel like it's just less efficient. Anyway, right now my job is cleaning up this celery. I want to get into what those jobs are over here on my channel. Oh. Look at that. Wait, stand up, up, stand up, up. Come up, up, up. Good girl, good girl. Show the butt. We, that's really what we want to see. It's all like, <laughs> okay. No more long hair behind the paws, nice and trim. Yes, you look great. You look great. You must feel a lot lighter, huh? Come on, up. No, this way. <laughs> Is there a better feeling than driving? If you guys drive, no traffic, you don't need your GPS, Spotify, Apple Music, they're just rolling with all like the best songs. Oh, such a good feeling. Blue sky, beautiful. That was my journey over here. We're at Rockland parking lot. You guys, when you see me in the car, if it's a Friday, if there's the concrete all around, you know where we are. <laughs> Happy Friday, guys. I'm clearly in a very good mood. I'm really looking forward to today. I used to hate Fridays. <laughs> like Fridays used to be my worst day of the week. Um, I wasn't really, like I think I went through like a little phase of being that like TGIF person. And then Fridays just became kind of an annoying day for me because when I started teaching bar, at first I had one class Friday at 6 p.m and I would feel so nervous. So all day I would just be like so much anxiety in my stomach, just like waiting for 6 p.m. Then they added me a class at 4.45, but around that time the traffic was so bad that I would leave so early. So I loved teaching and like once I got here, I was super happy and like I would finish my Friday nights like feeling great, but kind of all day leading up until my classes just felt like a wasted day because I couldn't focus on any other work that I was trying to do because I just knew I had this thing that I had to come do and I knew I had to like leave the house eventually. Plus JS works from home on Fridays and his job is basically to be on the phone 24 seven and we don't have like a closed office or anything. So he's like talking on the phone. <laughs> I'm like trying to focus and I can hear everything. So I'm so happy that my routine has changed. I now have a noon class on Friday. So I have three classes on Friday, noon, 4.45 and six. This is my second week with this schedule. And I'm like so happy because basically now my routine gets to be that I have a pretty chill morning. Like I just ate breakfast, cleaned up, watched YouTube videos, did like a tiny little bit of work just to get my video ready to go up. Like I did my thumbnail and the title and all the links and everything. Um, and then I like get in the car and I come here and there's no traffic at this time. Like, love it. I love that I don't have to wait around all day for like my main part of the day. Like my day just kind of starts and I get to have like a slower morning. Jess and I went outside and did like word searches this morning. It was so cute. The thing now that I have to see is how to manage like my energy and make sure I'm drinking enough water because if you guys watched my day in my life as a bar instructor, I filmed that last Friday and it was my first day teaching three classes and I really just like didn't manage my energy and my fuel well enough and I started feeling really bad by the end of the day. So I've got like a protein shake with me today. I'm probably just gonna buy, you guys already know. Oh, I can't forget. I can't forget my coupons. But I'm really looking forward to today teaching three Lana Del Rey themed classes. Can't wait. Gonna use my time in between to study and I'm dressed so cozy today. Like it's Friday 
and you cannot tell me to dress cute. I'm dressed cozy and I've got a new workout top on. I'll show you guys. Uh, so I'm pretty early. I'm not used to there being this like so little traffic so i definitely left way earlier than i need to my class starts in a little bit under an hour i really have to pee that's why i'm like fidgeting around so i'm gonna go in get everything set up i have like some time to kill so i'm just gonna figure my shit out did i say we're gonna study for pilates today i forget if i said that but i'm hoping to get like some good study time in that's why i'm wearing my sweatpants and my sweatshirt because and my little birkenstocks i'm dressed like a university student because i'm a muggle study <laughs> let me know in the comments what is your friday vibe like are you tgif do you like take it easy on friday do you feel pressure to finish everything before the weekend everything you got to do that's how i feel but now that i'm here and like it's like there's nothing i can do you know i can only do what i can do but let me know what's your friday vibe let's go inside so you guys can see we have the candles it's kind of funny to do candles for a lunch class because i'm like am i gonna put people to sleep uh but i think it'll be fine it'll be like a nice relaxing break this is my workout outfit of the day these shorts are from garage they're like these kind of little like almost they're booty shorts let's be real um but they're really really good for working out in and i'm just trying to like soak up the last few weeks of wearing shorts to the gym because I feel like even though I'm inside and like the temperature doesn't change from summer to winter, it feels weird to work out in shorts in the winter. Like I feel like I'm gonna be more drawn to leggings so I'm just trying to like wear shorts <laughs> while I still feel like it. And then this top is from Halara. It's new, it's the first time I'm wearing it. From the front it looks like whatever, but from the back it's so cool. It has like this twisty open back. It does kind of bunch up a little bit like as i'm moving it kind of goes up to look more like a sports bra but you can pull it down so it's like like a very crop top or like sports bra but i really really like it like the back is just so cool hi guys i'm sitting outside there's like a little terrace here at the mall and there's no one around. There's plenty of people inside, so they're probably looking at me like I'm crazy, but there's no one outside. It's actually such a nice day. I got my subway. I got I got a foot long and a six inch, because it was like, if you buy a foot long, six inches is a dollar. So I did that. I'm gonna save the other half of this for later, but I'm so hungry, like, and I learned last time, I think I, I said it already, I need to eat and drink a lot. That's it, I just wanted to say hi. I. I'm like running out of time to do my Pilates studying. I haven't really made much progress. Like I haven't looked at it in, in a week. And so my plan was to like study for three hours today and then all of my time is just flying away and I have to make my class for later. Um, but look, I brought a tea bag. This is the blue, it's called Blue Bliss from Teas. It's like a caffeine free tea. I brought this for my, right before my class protein powder and I don't need to go to Starbucks I completely forgot I brought matcha subway matcha a cookie for later I'm happy gonna go teach a bar class later another one two more I'm happy